Hello everyone, my name is Chris Knackers. This is going to be a quick video introduction for extending the Active Directory schema for Configuration Manager 2012. I just want to run through the few simple steps you need to do in order to extend your schema and just kind of show you what that looks like. Um, first off, you need to be able to run it with an account that has schema admin permissions. Um, in this case, in my little lab environment, I'm actually the administrator and um, he's already in the group for schema admins but if you are running this in a different environment you need to make sure that you do have those schema admin permissions in order to extend that schema and then secondly we're going to go to our site server installation directory so in my case it's on my D drive program files configuration manager bin i386 and in that you will see your extend AD schema application and that's what we need to run to actually extend that schema so what I'm going to do here is open up a command prompt as administrator and then I'm going to go ahead and browse to that installation directory and then I'm going to run my extend ad schema.exe again with an account that has schema admin permissions on the domain and we can see that my it says my schema was successfully extended and we can also look on the root of our C drive we'll have an extend ad schema log file that if we open up you can see all the different attributes that were added to Active Directory and what you're looking for down at the bottom is that you successfully extended the AD schema. Additionally we do need to make a few changes on the actual domain itself so we're going to flip over to my, our domain controller now and I'll show you those changes. Okay now that we're on our domain controller what we're going to do is go ahead and open up ADSI edit connect to our domain and expand down to our systems container and what you'll see is that we don't have a system management container. That container needs to be created manually. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the system container, select new object, container, next, and then we're going to call this system management and click next and then finish. And now we've got our container. Now we need to go ahead and set the appropriate security permissions on this container. We're going to go to the security tab and select add and what we need to do here is add our primary site and we need to make sure we select computer objects add that and we want to give it full control and then we're also going to have to come in here into advanced and make sure that our it applies to this object and all the Sengen objects and click OK and now you successfully added permissions for your site server to publish data to Active Directory um, another real quick tip on this, what I typically like to do is I actually usually like to have a group called Config Manager Servers and I'll set appropriate permissions for that group again with this object and all the synonym objects and the reason I like to do that is um, you're not very often in ADSI edit so if you add another site, expand your hierarchy, um, you need to make sure that that additional primary site has permissions to the AD schema so by using a group um, we can simply add that site to the group and then assure that we have the appropriate AD schema permissions in order for it to publish its data to Active Directory and that's pretty much it. A real quick um, extending the AD schema is actually a fairly simple process um, once you have appropriate rights and that's all that needs to be completed. Thank you.